ボリュームワンソレイユ回転しましたはい。And play in English. Okay. People need to stop yelling at me. Thank you very much. I'm heading out now. His voice already sounds annoying. Okay. Ah, sh my name is Kasho. Kashu. Phew, this should be most of the boxes then. I wiped the sweat of my forehead with my arm. The z o o m i n g trap disappeared from me. Oh, <clears throat> Although it was early April and only the beginning of the spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have any signature yet. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motive. There was also a large window which let lots of sunlight in. And finally, there was a word that displayed the name of the bakery. La Soleil. La. La Soleil? Instead of the proper French article, Le, it was La Soleil, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm, now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the stature of my family's name and everything that happened up until now. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for what freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. Alright, in any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. So it's kind of like an interactive story, I guess. It's fucking beautiful. Hmm? What's with this big box? In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile. Delicate. Absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. What the fuck? <laughs> the warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything like this. First off, there were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If these were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There was no tags from the moving company either. All there was were these warning labels. Well, I know for sure once I open the. Huh? Oh god. Um. Are talking to me. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Hmm? Like that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? Who are you? Chocola no koto hakobu toki ni desu ne. Chocola. Kuno dan bodo omoi kara kiyo tsukera yo. Toka itte. Ha ha ha. You're a heavy fat kitty. Omoazu fusha atte nakiso ni natchai mashita. Fusha atte. Isho kenmei ni gaman shimashita kedo. Chocola wa pun pun desu yo. Pun pun. Aww. 
compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what I said. Chocola puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that's how you describe Chocola. Well, I was getting ready to move. I did wonder why I didn't see you. Hmm. Hey! <coughs> oh! Vanilla. So cool! Why is Vanilla here too? <laughs> you don't look steaming. Again, huh? In any case, chocolate, vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wit's end with the large boxes that suddenly shown up. Anyhow, chocolate and vanilla got out of the boxes. Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shiguri doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that chocolate and vanilla could have gotten mixed up with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls are closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do. There are genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. These days, cat girls fit into sight as pets in, f in families or partners to humans. My little sister really loves to dote on cat girls, so our family had six, including Chocola and Vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I can only guess that this was somehow Shish Shigure is doing. I see. So Shigure was an accomplice then. Oh, they move back here! Get out of control and hurt yourself. Hi. Hi. Without any inattention, two cat girls are off and running. Well, the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I we'll wor wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore either, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that, I looked up an address in my phone's address book. It's a Juki residence. Well, I already left Shigure a message, so she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I moved out without saying anything, so for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue. I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Shiguri soon anyway. <laughs> Good for you, kitty! Thank you! <clears throat> Good work, you two. Gosh, both of you are a major bedhead. Sheesh. So they literally are just cats that happen to be human looking ish, but they're still considered pets, I guess. No. I tidied up their hair with a comb. Their soft hair felt nice as always. I literally bonked them both in the head while they had their ears clo eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my goofy boxes? No! 
You had no choice. Just tagged along. You two... Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I recompose... I recompo bleh, recompose myself and look at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigure and the other cat girls are there, too. It would be better if you two just... Uh oh. <笑>うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。
的に油が気持ち悪いあの猫ちゃんたちシャンプーもろくに使ってもらえないのかしらかわいそうに猫虐待で通報した方がいいんじゃないのかしら Don't put on some act confuse the customers around us seriously. We only just moved here, but suddenly we were already a disapproving glare directed at us. I had to think about my shop and my own home. I didn't know you two were gonna fucking be here. I'm not cheapskate. Besides, I nearly got reported. After that, it was the same sort of exchange at the supermarket. The whole thing was so awkward because I didn't think I could visit the shop in district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that was the cute side of cat girls. Um. It definitely does. What does that smell? I turn towards the source of it. Ah, so kawaii! Yeah, I'm not talking when they talk because I, I love their little Japanese voices. It was a cat girl younger than chocolate and vanilla. She waved her tiny hands and she politely drew customers in. In human terms, she looked like she was about 12 or 13 years old. The cat girl, she was about 6 months old. <laughs> The young cat girl noticed us and ran over. Yeah, I am. Uh, well, to be honest, my little sister is their own. The food stand owner had a weary smile on her face, like she was talking about a mischievous child of hers. At a glance, it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it easy to overlook these things. Mine were originally stray, so I don't actually know how old they are. Veterans said they were twins, and we're now about nine months old. My little sister is actually quite the educational freak. Back then they were really noisy, but it was all worth it. Well, I am grateful. She literally nudged me with her elbow. I responded with an embarrassed, forced smile. Doing this kind of stuff in public sure was embarrassing. Look like fondly at them from nearby. 
ちょっと<笑> It was a bright and honest laugh. I, I nodded and agreed. Go away, my little brother. Go away, right, shoot. Thank you. You don't see me playing this. <laughs> that is true. This must be like how pets find their way back to their owners. I smiled at such an uncharitable thought from me. shoulders drooped down huntily. As I hung their heads, I rubbed them from behind. I took a look at all the Tokiyos. I took a look at the little Tokiyaki seller. Okay, three orders of Takoyaki. Can you get that for me? Her large eyes blinked as she tilted her head in confusion. Yeah, for me, chocolate and vanilla. Could you do that for me? Take time to get home and make food after all. Besides, I want to try the takoyaki yes. too. Oh, I was mean, and now I'm cool. Hmm. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Wish England was like this. Ooh, cheese flavor. I want cheese flavor. That question was completely ignored. Well, I guess I shouldn't let it bother me, huh? I wondered about that as I looked at chocolate and vanilla. Happily waiting there, Tokoyaki in front of the food stand. Uh, we might have to end it here, actually. Yeah, okay. Mm. This has been fun. This will be my... Um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little thing. Oh. Hello. Ah, I might as well finish this till the end of the night time. And we'll next day, then I'll save. I still can't get a hold of her. Were there guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but couldn't get through to her. And just like that, they're already gone this late. I never gone this long without hearing from Shigure. I really don't understand my family's schedule at all. Schedule. Shed schedule? Schedule? Whatever. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're just cats. What's the big deal? I am not a pervert. You haven't even grown that much. What are you talking about? Whatever. Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bait. 
the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. ちょこらの家はご主人様のお家ですけども。ちょこらの隣が私の居場所だし、あとご主人かっこいい。ちょこらの隣が私の居場所だし、あとご主人かっこいい。ちょこらの隣が私の居場所だし、あとご主人かっ
Choco is good with kanji characters, so she'll only read picture books, though. Nope, oh, lag is kicking in. Ah, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It still gets pretty cold at night in April after all. I'm gonna sleep on the sofa in the living room. The sofa can fit one person. There's air conditioning in there if I need it. Oh, for God's sake, this is so annoying. They move quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. I place my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up, I will sleep on the sofa and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders, understood? I can't give it so fucking easily. What? I shouldn't like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. They lowered their heads apologetically. <coughs> they must have. Uh, they looked like they were on the verge of tears. Their obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. That pain left me as I sighed and ripped the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Damn cat girls. Uh oh. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. I shall rip the heads of the two dis dis dispirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turn the lights off in the room. The vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my chest from before became even sharper. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay if it's just for one night. Don't worry about it. Now then, go to sleep. I really shouldn't act on my emotions. I laid on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind of or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. It's pretty cool of me to be so passive like this. While I continue to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions, I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. <laughs> Everything. 